today I'm going to show you how to make the classic cream cheese pound cake. Let's get started. For the cream cheese pound cake, you need the following. Three cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon baking powder, one teaspoon salt, one and a half cups butter, one cup cream cheese, three cups sugar, two teaspoons vanilla, one teaspoon lemon flavoring, six whole eggs. For this recipe, I'm going to use a bun pan. This is a brown bun pan, but you can use any baking pan that you have. This is this will just come out prettier. Even if your uh, baking pan is non-stick, I always put shortening and then flour just to be sure because we can't risk that after you finish all of this and then you cannot take it out of the mold. Alright, if you don't have shortening, you can use butter or you can use oil but I like shortening because it has neutral flavor. Alright, so make sure you uh, brush every nook and cranny here. If you've missed something, you will know after we put the flour, okay? We put flour and then turn it around. This is what you call grease and flour. And then don't forget, always top out the excess. Otherwise, you'll, uh, your cake will have uh, white spots. Okay, so this is grease and flour. You will know that every space has been greased because uh, the flour sticks. So let's set that aside and let's prepare or let's start mixing. We start by creaming butter and cream cheese. Your cream cheese and butter should be soft but not melted, right? So I have your cream cheese. Then butter. Use unsalted butter. In case you have salted butter, just add half of the salt in the recipe. And then I'm going to add in the salt. We will cream this for about 5 minutes. Once you've started mixing it, then we add the sugar. Your butter or cream cheese is a little bit firm. You soften it first before you add the sugar. The nice thing about the cream cheese pound cake is it stays moist for a longer period of time and it tastes better the day after it's baked. In the meantime, while that is creaming, I have here uh, baking powder and flour, you mix this together. And then I can add vanilla and lemon flavoring. You cream that for about five minutes. All right, let's scrape the bottom to make sure that your uh, cream cheese is uh, smooth. If you want to make a variation, you can make what they call a red velvet cream cheese pound cake. All you need to do is add food coloring, red food coloring, and a little bit of cocoa powder. I will write the proportion in the uh, recipe which you will find at the end of the video. Please read the uh, description box for some corrections or some notes or some information I might have forgotten to tell you while we are making the video. Alright, after 5 minutes, lower the speed. By the way, when you cream butter, sugar, and uh, cream cheese, you can cream it for a long time without it uh, getting overmixed. But once you add the eggs, you have to watch it. You add one egg at a time. Make sure it's well incorporated before you add the next egg. You do this so that the mixture will not curdle or will not separate. All right, then we will add, you put uh, the mixer to speed number one and then you add in the flour. By the way, make sure your flour is sifted before you measure it. All right, once you don't see the flour anymore, you stop the mixer. We don't want to over mix because you develop the gluten, so what happens, your uh, cake will be tough and dry. 
always scrape the bottom to make sure it's well incorporated because the paddle of the mixer does not touch the bottom of the bowl. So, we want our mixture really smooth. So, you finish it by hand. Alright. So, here we will use this. As I said, if you don't have this baking pan, you can use any baking pan that you have. Alright. I'm going to pass around a small rubber scraper to make sure that all the uh, design on the bun pan will be filled with the butter so there are no holes. You tap this. And then we will put this in a 350 degree oven. We will bake this for about 40 to 50 minutes or until it's done. Right. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. Here, our cream cheese pound cake is done. Right. You check this with a cake tester and then put this on the cake rack to cool. Okay, let us unmold our uh, cream cheese pound cake. We'll see. Oops, great. Here. This is our cream cheese pound cake. I'm using a bunt uh, crown mold. You can buy this online. But any mold will do. But it just looks pretty, right? And then to finish this off, we will put uh, a light coating of powdered sugar for a little drama. All right, and this is ready to serve. Let's try to slice this. If you don't have an electric knife, a regular knife will do. Here's the inside of our cream cheese uh, pound cake. 